that's a crazy title on thumbnail i know but trust me guys it's 100 percent legit this is just the first page of the sales i've been getting on the shop i'm going to be talking to you guys about today i'm going to be showing you how to make money on redbubble fast by reviewing one of my redbubble shops hi guys my name is phil and welcome to the money game youtube channel for anyone that's new around here i make print on demand content both to motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can improve your print on demand shops if this is the first time you're coming across this channel and you're looking to learn how to make some extra cash online make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be kept up to date whenever i do upload now before we jump into this for those who don't already know i have a free print on demand starter guide that's linked down in the description however for those people that are looking to turn this into more of a full-time income i have a paid step-by-step -step course that's also linked down below and before we get into the numbers i just want to preface by saying in no way am i trying to show off here i just want to show you guys what's possible if you have a strategy and hopefully this can motivate some of you guys to take action and to start doing well for yourself too right at the top we have my most recent sale which you can see there is from the 1st of december which is the date i'm currently recording this video I'm going to be going through a lot more of those sales and breaking it down a little bit more but for those who don't know started selling on redbubble roughly about a year ago and since then i built multiple shops with a couple of them being very successful i've made videos about the various results i've gotten from those shops so if you want to watch those videos they'll be linked down in the description for you guys to check out after and at this point i pretty much feel that i've got this down to a science now i want you guys to see when the first sale came in on this shop before we start talking about this i'm going to scroll through the sales and i want to show you when the first sale came in on this shop i just want you guys to see that the first sale came on the 11th of november this was roughly about four days after the shop was created the profit margins on that was one pound 34 and i sold two of a product which if you ask me for a first sale in a shop is fairly impressive so in the space of roughly 20 days the shop has managed to get 114 sales which is insane for a new shop and from 114 sales the shop has made 124 pounds and 55 cents which if we convert to dollars is around 166 dollars now not all of that is all of the profit margins we have as i think there's been a few cancellations but the cancellations are very Low, which i'll go on to show you in a moment and one thing i want you guys to bear in mind is that it took me four days to get a sale and the sales didn't all come in fast they started off slowly as you'll be able to see here as i scroll through if you look at the date at the far end you'll see on the 11th i've got four sales so one person bought two things and then i had two separate sales on the 13th i moved on and i got three sales so the sales didn't start off very fast there was two on the 14th uh, two on the 15th, two on the 16th. On the 17th, I think we had our first fairly big day with seven sales. It dropped back to one on the 18th. So nothing was yet moving that fast at this point. And for those wondering what I was doing at this point, on most of my items, my margins were low. As you can see in my profit margins here, they're currently less than a pound, less than a pound. We have one that's 284, but that's mainly because one person bought four products. And this was part of my strategy, part of the master plan to help my sales to start to increase so hopefully redbubble could then recommend me to more people and then jumping towards the end of november let's just say things started to change so on the 27th of november i had let's count one two three five eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen sales my strategy at this point was starting to work if you're interested in what kind of products I was selling. So on the 27th, I'll quickly show you the products we had. So we had a couple of mugs with some posters, a greetings card. And one of the biggest days for profit was on the 29th of November. I got five sales in one on this shop, which got me a profit of four pounds 91. Once again, with a brand new shop, is crazy and jumping onto what i like to call the earnings page we can pretty much see exactly how much this shop should be getting now like i said it's a brand new shop so there's not been any other payments on it there's been consolations of up to one pound 12 which if you ask me is not too crazy so there's a couple of quick but really important things you need to know to better understand how to get sales like this the first one is how to make sure that your designs are safe there's sites out there like trademarkio.com that allow you 
free to trademark check your design ideas to make sure that you can actually use them it's completely free to use all you need to do is just copy and paste your keywords into there and it will tell you whether something is trademarked or not strategy is also important in terms of researching your design ideas making the actual designs and deciding when and how many designs you'll be uploading now when it comes to research there's plenty of ways to go about this you can use bubble trends it shows you a list of keywords that are currently trending on redbubble that you can make designs for once again you can always double check with trademark here to make sure that they're not trademark there's also the redbubble tag site which will show you the most trending tags on redbubble and once again you can get information there double check with trademark here there's other various ways that i actually cover in my course but if you're interested in learning more about that the link for that is down in the description when it comes to making your designs you want to decide whether you want to go with more of the quality or quantity approach so if you want to go with the quantity approach you can create scalable templates that you can easily change or you can mainly push to create designs that look better than the other designs in your niche and there's various ways to do this you can even create sticker packs to become more competitive in your niche for those that don't have photoshop that don't feel like they can create high quality designs you don't need photoshop there's free websites out there like photop.com and finally when you're uploading your designs you want to create a schedule that you can stick to if you're going to stick to uploading five designs a day make sure you stick to that you could choose to even do 20 designs a day redbubble actually has a limit of 60 uploads a day so if you can go all the way up to 60 do it by all means you increase your chances of getting found and potentially getting sales with a shop I've been talking to you guys about today the upload schedule for that shop was roughly around 15 designs a day mainly because whilst running my other stores that is the most I could do mainly because I wanted to upload the designs manually on this one and I also wanted to do things in a similar way to someone who would be starting out on Redbubble so I can show you accurate results of what can potentially happen if you decide to put the time in you actually research and you stick to a schedule at the end of the day I want you guys to understand that Redbubble isn't something that's important possible to do even if this is your first week or first month the sales can eventually start picking up you can eventually get to a point where you're getting enough money for this to be maybe a side hustle or if you take it even more seriously something in the future that could even become full-time for most of you right guys so before we finish with this video i thought i'll just show you some results people are getting from the things that I talk about in the videos. So we've got a guy here who's commented and they're telling me that they're now getting at least two sales a day. They're saying thanks to me, but I put it all on the videos. They're applying the information they're learning. We've got someone here who's commented, OMG, I just got my first two sales thanks to me once again it's not even thanks to me it's thanks to them applying the information that they're learning as we go into the facebook group we've got people here like stephanie she's put here she's made another 50 pounds in a day and she actually shares some of the screenshots she's been getting through her emails which is insane if you're not already a member of the group it's free to join the link is down in the description we've got montez or armando here and he's put went back and focused on tags and targeting certain item got a sale the next day put a screenshot in the group here i'll just open it up as you can see got a profit margin of four dollars 34 on that sale i think we'll leave it here for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this one if you want another one soon make sure that this video hits 250 likes if you've made it this far into the video down in the comment section comment down making money because personally i believe that we can all be making money if we make sure that we have a strategy in place and we follow it consistently nevertheless that is it from me always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success